New game, let's jump in, normal mode. Excuse me. Let's see what we've got going on here. At 4 a.m. At 4 a.m. on June the 22nd, 1941, oh. the armed forces of Germany launched a surprise attack against the Soviet Union. The great patriotic war of the Soviet people against the fascist invaders began. Okay. In the first several months, the Soviet forces suffered devastating losses, fighting against a battle-hardened and ruthless enemy. The Red Army was forced to retreat. I like the Soviet biplane there. They did use them. They, I think they had them as bombers or spotting aircraft, certainly. At the the start. invaders stormed their way forward, raising Soviet cities to the ground and burning down villages along the way. Minsk, Smolensk and Novgorod fell. The German Air Force bombed Kiev and Sevastopol. Threat loomed over Moscow and Leningrad. Could do with a little bit of background ambience, I think, for this intro. Thousands of Soviet soldiers were surrounded, trapped in salience. One of them was a commanding officer of a rifle company, Captain Zorin. During an attempt to break out of the encirclement, he was taken prisoner and shipped to the nearest Dulac. He was supposed to be transferred from the prisoner of war camp to an internment camp. Fully aware that this would be a one-way ticket for him and his comrades, Zorin began work on a breakout. But the Germans discovered his plans. I wonder if it's a true story with the, regarding the names. I know that sort of stuff was true, that there's so many Soviet prisoners of wars were just, just killed, executed, or just left to die. Uh, starvation in the elements. It was a it was a damn grim conflict. Hey, Alawint, how's it going? Ooh, who's that? TK, TKD Authority, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. My first time playing this, so... Uh, let's... Are we... Oh, it is... Oh, it's sorry, frozen up. I don't want to skip. Hopefully it's going to be a tutorial. Is this Nazi HQ or is it a prison camp? Sind Sie es? Warum sind Sie so seltsam angezogen? Es hat etwas gedauert, bis wir diese zwei im Wald. Took us a while to catch these two in the forest, Herr Commandant. Captain Zorin. Captain Zorin. Ja. I've been informed, dass Sie die Gefangenen zum Aufstand angestellt haben. That you put the prisoners up to a riot. What are you trying to do? Ihr Krieg ist vorbei. Your war is over. Soon it will be over for the Red Army too. I wouldn't be so sure. We'll be chasing you all the way back to Berlin before long. Our victory is all but certain. Neither Moscow nor Leningrad can hold out for more than two weeks. You don't stand a chance against the might of Germany. We, Aryans, are born to rule the likes of you. All humans are born equal. For you, Hitler's filth. You are human. That's going to go down well. Was für ein Schwachsinn! Bringt ihn nach draußen zur Exekution. So good we had licked, Herr Commandant. Okay, so there's kind of, I guess you're hearing it from the perspective of the Soviet uh, Soviet guy. There is the option to play with Russian voices in this. I selected English. Go ahead, you bastard. Shoot. There's 170 million of us. You can't shoot everyone. Oh, they tried. Wow. Okay. Rip guard. The alarm. The sergeant must have started the riot. I wish I were with them. Now I'll have to escape on my own. I can't even hold a rifle. My hands are tied. I'll try and sneak along the fence while the guards are looking. There's got to be a way to get, uh, and can I zoom in? I can zoom in, I can zoom out. We can, can we click on a guard? What if I click on a guard? Unarmed. So that would have, what that would have gone to attack. If I hold down control or something. Oh, if I hold down control. Oh no, no, that doesn't do anything. If I put a mouse over, it shows me where I'll be hidden. I know it wants me to go this way, so we will do that. But, uh, what else have we got? That shows health, I'm guessing. Health or alertness, maybe? I'm not sure. Probably health. Sneak. Okay, sneak along here. Let's go and see how this works. Oh, I see. I can move the camera with WASD. Nice. Uh, what if I right-click on them? Oh, okay. So that shows me that's what I wanted. I wanted to see where they're looking. And they're not moving. 
See now the Desperados thing. Ah, oh, come on. Come on, game. That guy can see through that gate. It's got bars in it. <laughs> you can't see through the bush. But you can see through the gate. Are they all like that? Yeah. Okay, so that. So that's something to bear in mind. Um, whilst they can't see through that one, that might work against me later, so I need to watch out for that. Things like that. Gates and fences and stuff. Ooh, stealth mode. Your character starts using stealth movement if you're close to an enemy. Just... Alright, so if I'm not close to an enemy, he just goes for it? Oh, I've, I've pressed shift then. Maybe I shouldn't have done. So the idea is please to sneak around. I've got no means of... Oh, that's what we want. Look, get on that. That'll... that'll so that, that, that's anti-aircraft gun. Is it deployed? I don't know. I guess it's just up for transport. Quite a few, quite a bit of difference in population there between 1940 and 2020. The Russians suffered heavily in that war. I've got to move the camera as well. I've got to remember it doesn't keep it centered. Do I? Hang on. Should I have? Um, let me go back. I think I should have clicked on this. I thought it just meant to go this way, but what it actually means, I think there's something to click on. And you pick it up like a tip. So we'll do this for the tutorial. Use left mouse button to move your parts in the select an action. Click right mouse button to cancel a move. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, and that would have told us the camera. Great. So we do that and then right button to stop. Excellent. That's, re that's really good. I don't know if that was the case in Desperados, but I often clicked on something and then went into panic trying to stop it because I clicked in the wrong place. Hey, Massive, how's it going? That's true, actually. Russia has lost a lot of... Or Soviet Union has lost a lot of land since 1940. It's a, it's, a, it's a different nation altogether now. Enemy cone. Enemy... Every enemy in the game has a cone of vision. Move your cursor to an enemy and press right mouse button. Okay, so if we do that... So we can see through that fence. So, okay. So... Oh, I, I think I have to wait until he's... He's looking somewhere else. And that's my... I can double click. I think that means he heard something, does it? You can quick save your game by pressing F5. If you want to quick load, F9. That's nicely out of the way. I like that. Saving is impossible on the game's highest complexity level. This sounds very much like Desperados. You can change settings in the settings tab. Do you, do you find that? They're like, you get a... You get like a, a, a fairly big name release. Not that Desperados is a massive name release, but it's a fairly big name release. And then you get like an indie game that's on a very similar theme that follows very close behind it. I don't have a problem with them doing that, but you, you just wonder, is it planned? Is it, can't, is it coincidence? Can't be coincidence. I don't, I don't think so anyway. Uh, you can change game settings. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Let's see, so we've got to watch out. Whoa, 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 whoa. What did I click on there? Can he see over them boxes? That's, that's the question. And are these people... So they're chasing off those guys. The hell is that? Someone kicking the crap out of a door. Question is, can he... Ah, now, yes, you can see over the boxes. Cool. So I sprint over. So, right. So sprinting makes noise. Good to know. Double click. Yep, we'll figure that one out. Thanks. Your characters make noise when they're sprinting. Yeah, I think we, we sorted that one out. They've seen us. Who's seen us? Who? What? Him? Oh, he was as well. He was looking over there. Oh, God. Using environment. You can use certain objects in your environment to hide from enemies. Use the cellar by clicking it with the left mouse button. Okay, there's one up there. To highlight objects, you can... Oh, press the alt button. Nice. That's good. Right. Can we not climb this wall and go and just... Uh, Whoa, whoa, whoa. Now. I think that might be the end of our tutorial. <laughs> Can't hide in the bushes. Can't go and beat him up. He's the one we need to watch. So is he going to move? There he goes. <laughs> Just jump in. What we need to do is beat the crap out of him and then put him in the cellar. 
There's a whole patrol gone past there. It won't let me because my hands are tied, I, I suspect. Um, come on, quick! We're good, we're good. Uh, we won't be for long. Get into that. Are those bushes, are they hidden? Let's see if we can learn this. Hey, Circular Sorrow, how are you? There's nothing new under the sun. Oh my god, that looks bad. Du such das Dorf und den Wald. Findet und erschießt die Flüchtigen. Es darf niemand entkommen. Zu Befehl. Soldaten, mitkommen. How are you doing on the Elite Massive? I see you're still in the top 10 players. Nice on the community goal. He ordered them to scour the area. Someone must have escaped. I've snuck into the top 50%. So the rewards are improving nicely. Okay, so. Uh, sneak to the shed along the fence. This must be the shed. We can't go over and do those. Nope, we can't. Uh, I guess we're supposed to go in there. All right. All right. Tread lightly. Tread lightly. Who said that? Was it my guy? I know I selected, like, English voiceover for this, but I did not expect, like, a, uh, a London accent. A strong London accent. Or down south, anyway. Hover over the box and click on the interaction item to select an item. Drag it with your cursor. Double click with L and B or take all. Okay, so what have we got? This box? Oh, nice. Okay, so that highlights that. Let's have a look. Calm down. Ooh. So if I can... I can double click. We want a knife. And we want... What the hell is this? What is it? Can you... Is that how it's fruit and vegetables? I see it's a carrot and what looks like a tomato or an apple. Found <laughs> the hell that was. Right, so I should be able to use this. Have I got my hands free now? Okay, we've got that. Nice. And Z, X, and C are these quick slot things? Okay, we don't need to do that then. Sort items, injuries, effects. So we have. So we could go, we can go and knife him. I wonder if that means we can throw it. There's two, oh, hang on. Is there two or three? Because who's that guy? He's innocent. He is not, but he's not, he's not really watching his mate here. So that, that way, okay, let's see. I suspect I'm going to balls this up. Hey, Tom, how's it going? Got your Xbox? Press I to open your inventory. Equip your knife to the upper weapon slot. Drag and drop the item. To the drag and drop the item to the right slot. The right slot. Well, it's showing other things in there. I wonder, wonder, have I supposed to pick something else up in here? No, I can't interact with these other crates, so I think I've got it in the right place. Ooh! Stealth killing. Stealthy takedown allows you to quickly kill your target, however, your prey will resist for a short while. Producing noise that could be heard by other enemies. You can hide enemy corpses using environmental tricks to keep them right. So shove it in the bushes. Okay. Pick it up. Pick it up. Could have put it in the shed as well, couldn't I? Dump it in there. We are hidden, I think. So where's this, where's this other guy gone? So he's gone around there. I think he's just sodded off. Okay, I was... Well, let's see if this works as well. I'm going to guess this works. Hang on. So it's right... Oh, I've shut myself in the toilet. Okay, that's the best yes. place to be. I can't get out now. <laughs> right, right, click this. See if this works. Excellent. So, come on, what, what are you going to stream? You've got a stream now. You've got your Xbox. Do I click on... Oh, I click on the fist, I think. And then I click on that. Put him in the toilet. Leave him there. So, this guy. Mm, there's two. Let's get into... Let's get see what this is. Enemies can't see you whilst you are moving through bushes. Sneak into the next yard using bushes. Enemies can't see a corpse in the bushes unless they walk into it. Okay. So enemies will walk into bushes in this game. Oh, I see where we go. I see. 
Noise in bushes. Moving through bushes creates noise that can cause nearby enemies to become suspicious. Your plan must remain undetected. Wait for the suspicion level to decrease before carrying on. This seems a little bit more... With some of the mechanics a little bit more in-depth than Desperado's was. Maybe going for a, a realism factor? I mean, sneaking around in the bushes like that, it's going to make noise. I don't know about you, but I can't move through undergrowth silently. Just... That looks very similar to the outhouses on Desperado's, but I mean, it's... It's like they, they had the same technology, I guess. <laughs> This day and age. Uh, is it Trish Chistelaine? Sorry, I've got the name totally wrong. But welcome to the stream and thanks for the follow. Hey, Grinchy Dan. All, all's well, family. And dog's fine. Dog's asleep on uh, the couch next door. He's absolutely fine. Thanks. And I'm feeling a bit better today. I don't know what was wrong with us yesterday. I don't know whether it was just tiredness. I, I just felt, fell off like I had a bit of a cold or something. Uh, which hasn't really materialized, so... But yeah, I'm fine, thanks. How are you? Your character can jump over low fences to take shortcuts. How? Calm down. Oh, I see. Just click on it. A little symbol pops up. That's quite good. Yep. Nothing down there. I know this is a tutorial, but I always like to see what we can pick up and steal. Um, oh, there's a crate in there. And I don't see anybody else, so... Down. Why? He can't see me. So, oh, we've got a sack of potatoes. Skill tree, your character gained a new... Oh, okay, so a new level and skill point. You can spend it in your skill tree. Press L and choose the skills tab. To learn high-level skills, you need to learn three skills from the previous tier. You can... Right, okay. This is definitely uh -huh. something. What have we got here? We've got... Are those sugar cubes? Because I, I can't tell. Sugar cubes and bread. I'm going to guess it's sugar cubes. Is it L or is it I? Well, I takes it in here anyway, so that's okay. You're good? Good. Glad to hear it. Can you steal from dead buddies? Maybe. Perhaps not in the tutorial, but uh, I'm going to guess so. So, what have we got? We've got... What's that do? Knife throwing. Pass and throws a knife and silently kills an enemy. Throw a knife can be picked up and used again. Right. Pistols 1. Increased chance to hit using pistols. Should I make this my stealthy guy? We've got nothing else to use. Lowers the stamina cost of running while in combat. What's that one? Allows you to kill low rank enemies faster when in stealth. Win chance. I think it's telling me to go and spend that, isn't it? Increases character defense. Bonus. There's, there's, right, there's more combat in this I need to be aware of. Pattern. If you have this skill, your pattern will have low effect on global map activity success chances. We'll have to work that out. All right, let's pick this then. This seems like it's uh, confirm. Seems like it's what it wants me to do. Knife throwing one. So how do I? Is it V? I was looking at that there, and I thought maybe that's a way of switching. How do we get to, to that dude? Which way am I supposed to go? I'm clearly supposed to go that way first, but can I not get over? I can't get over this fence. There's a toilet over there. Give me a suggestion, game. I mean, there's a... That's, I can't do that, so... Can I jump up on here? What if I click on that? Was there a way through the shed? There's probably a way through the shed. Yeah, there's a way through the shed, okay. So if I press 1, Easy now. what about F? Oh, I think that's throw. I think that's on throw. I'm on it. One down. It was indeed on throw. Okay. Let's dump it in there. And I, it looks like I maybe have to pick the knife back up, do I? How do I drop this? Right click. Do we have the knife? Cannot be used anymore. Uh, do I click that one? Calm down. Did I get it? I don't know how to do this. 
So he's got a knife on him. I need to click on that, surely. My faithful blade. Yeah, okay, okay. So he does it does appear and then we can pick it back up. <laughs> That's a bit of, this is gonna tell me how, isn't it? This is gonna tell me how. Enemies traveling alone can be easily uh, neutralized or distracted. It's much harder if you meet a group. Try not to let them see you. Okay, it didn't. Ooh! Um, is he by himself? He is. I suppose I could set up a little ambush there. Ability distance. Some of your patterns abilities can be used at a distance. The ability icon shows the exact location where oh, I see. We saw that with the knife, didn't we? Where I put... Um... I can't do it there because of the distance to come through, so... Do I just wait here or do I... Oh, I've gone into stealth kill there, but it's fine. One down. I just want to get into the habit of throwing everything in bushes. Because it's, it's kind of satisfying to be nice and tidy, isn't it? Who are these guys, by the way? Because the, the uniforms... They're not regular German shot soldiers. Oh, crap. Can I go through these? I can. Is there any more out here? Run, throw. I'm on it. Nice. I'm going to get the knife back first, I think. because. Okay, then dump this in the bushes. Okay, just dump it there. <laughs> Hang on, I have to walk to the bushes first and right click. Then, got it, okay. It's important we get this sequence right, I think, before we meet a, a proper mission. I have no idea where to go from here. In here? Down here? Oh, here we go, here we go. Okay, there's something. I didn't expect to go that way, but we're on. Exactly. We do respect the plan. If we like to tidy up after the mess we make. I think we're, I think we're in the clear. No, we're not. I'm going to catch a lift now. Game could do with a bit more vivid colours, I think. A little bit more contrast and vibrance. Oh, into, into the bushes quick. Get down. This doesn't look... Is this bushes? I think it is. It must be. I have no idea what they're saying. I speak a tiny bit of German. We've got uh, him facing that way, that way, that way, and that way. So we need him to split up. Let's go and see what this is. I think, I think I'm safe to go through here. Unusual containers. You can find containers in unexpected forms and unexpected places. For example, collect the contents of the nearest pile of stones. I would never have thought to look at a pile of stones. Calm down. This is going to be what we use to distract, right? Stone throwing is a very simple, effective way to draw enemy attention. <laughs> Screw that, I'm going to throw one right at their heads. The one without a helmet on, preferably. So what's this one all about? Did you see any of my Desperados playthrough, Tom? It's, uh, it's basically that. It's like a, you play as a, a Russian partisan, or Soviet partisan, World War II. Um, um, but each mission, there's combat, but there's a big element on stealthiness and puzzle solving, kind of. Like you come across a situation where there'll be three guards, one looking that way, that way, and one towards you. And you have to figure out how you can take them all out to stealthily get past to set the explosive in the bunker or whatever, something like that. Um, that's that's basically how... I put that in my second slot? No. Nope. i put it there then. Okay. Um, that was how Desperados worked, but in the Wild West. This is almost the same game with a bit more depth on some of the mechanics by the looks of it. But in... Um, in the Soviet Union in World War II. So we're in here. So if I press Z, do I have, I hold it? Do I hold it? No, I don't have to hold it. So that's the range. So where do I want these guys looking? Do I want them looking this way? I didn't see what it said. So if everyone looks over there. Yep. 
and nobody saw a damn thing. <laughs> what was I supposed to do? Hang on, let's, let's go a little bit closer to home. Ah, uh, okay, because of the... Okay, I, I can see the radius of effect it's going to have, so I want to be there. And we just sneak out behind them. We don't kill any of them. We get in the truck and we drive off. It's going to raise the alarm. Do we? Fire! It's dead. That wasn't the thing to do. Maybe I should have gone through the bushes, snuck into the bushes. That would have been the thing to do, I think. So significant damage partisan become near death. To revive your fighter, click the heal icon above the injured partisan. Only any good, I guess, if I have a second squad member. Hmm, maybe I should have thrown it that way and sneaked around there and gone out there. That might have been better. Okay, uh, last save. Oh, God. Am I supposed to quick save in the tutorial? This better have an auto save. <laughs> I'm going to be upset. As from what I can tell, this game is quite brutal with its... Um, what's the word? It, it, it's you should you should save often in the words i'm looking for because in desperados you did but the game was designed like that it was designed for you to auto save every 30 seconds there was even a warning that came up if you went a whole minute without auto, without quick saving and it said yeah i think you might want to quick save now before you go any further can i skip this because the loading uh -huh. screens do seem a bit long all right it's not put me too far back then that's okay in fact it's not put me far back at all that's fine that's a relief. Can we skip that one? No, it doesn't look like it. So, yeah, I think I probably want to get them looking towards the truck. Then I sneak that way into the bushes, but they, they will hear. I might be able to sneak through these trees, actually. I don't know. Right, so we know that. We get those... Drag those on there. I had Stephen showing me in there. Okay, that's that's the direction we should have done it. That's fine. Should have been paying more attention. Right, let's let's sneak up. Um, I probably could just go down the track here. Actually, I assuming I can walk through that stuff. hope I've got them. I hope this is where it wants me to go. Yep, I think it is. Oh god, there's more. Hey, come on. Get up. We've almost reached the forest. Oh, I can't. The wound is too much. Leave me, Sanek. Run. Run for your life before they see you with me. What do you mean, run? Are you out of your mind? You don't leave comrades behind. I can carry you. I wish they'd got, for the English voice acting, someone with, like, a, a Russian accent. I think it would have Stand down. been better, I'll but... Carry him. Captain, you're alive. I, I thought the fascists got to you. I'm fine. It looks like you took a bullet. We'll find a safe place and dress your wounds. Pops has a dugout in the forest. The Germans won't find us there. How far out is it? We won't be able to carry him through the woodland and swamps. I didn't think of that. We can take him to Mikhailovo, to Uncle Vasya. He won't betray you. All right, take us there. Seems pretty good so far. His throwing knife looks like some sort of massive cleaver. It sounds like a sober Jack Sparrow. <laughs> he does a little bit. Yeah, it would have been nice if we'd had a bit, a bit of Russian accent, I think. But the fact that they give the option of Russian voices or English voices, and they sound like professional voice actors, well recorded, then that's, that's still pretty cool. So 17 minutes for that. God, I remember some of the Desperados missions took me three hours. <laughs> some of those were really tough. 